that we are here, Jehovah Redeemer. It's all about you that we are who we are. It's all about you that we are alive and healthy. It's all about you that you have come this far, Jehovah. That stains the ear, dear Lord. You have never failed, oh dear Lord, me to serve you in this altar. Always you have been gathering great multitude, O oh King of Glory. It is not by our own might, O oh God, but by your comparing spirit, O oh God, the keeper of this altar, the keeper of this commission, Jehovah. We bless your name tonight, O oh Most High. As we began our service tonight, O oh King of Glory, we cannot make it on our own, dear Lord. We invite your presence in this place, O oh Most High. Holy Spirit of God, take charge. Fill this place with the fire of the Holy Ghost that you frustrate every demonic interference, O oh dear Father, that God Almighty you shall nullify every demonic program in our service tonight, O oh Jehovah. We declare the blood shall be speaking on the ground, my God. The blood shall be speaking in the air most high. Jehovah, we will continue to speak upon those who are on the way coming, dear Lord, for protection, O oh King of glory. We thank you. We bless your name, O oh most high. As we begin our service, O oh God, we pray the spirit of God you move in this place, working with your servant, my Redeemer. We are praying for flesh oil to minister. We are praying, O oh God, for soft hearts, my Father, where the world shall come and be planted, O oh God, that you continue to give birth, O oh, then produce hundred fours, O oh Jehovah Redeemer. We pray the move of the Holy Spirit of the conviction of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we refuse to gather in vain in our service tonight. We pray that our God, every worshiper, will have an encounter with your word. We pray the Spirit of God shall read us for interpretation of your word as you minister to us through your servant. We pray our God, the Holy Spirit, will read us to the right to our Jehovah with the right revelation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, begin with us, O Jehovah, all the way that your move be in our midst. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We bless your name, for it is in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks. Amen and amen. Let us give a clap of to our Father. I invite the priest to. Hallelujah. The year 2024. The Lord has supernatural provision. And Praise Cathedral Art Project. God is our source. And He is our source. We are going to go before the Lord and worship Him. And bless His holy name because He is a great King. The Bible says in Psalms 95 and verses number 3. That for the Lord is a great God. And a great king above all gods. So we are going to exalt him as the king that he is and worship his holy name. We worship you, King of all glory. We worship you, King of all glory. Jesus, there is none like you. There is no other king like you. You reign, you reign forever, Almighty God. You reign, Yahweh. You reign, Jesus, in our lives and in everything that concerns us, oh Lord. We appreciate you this moment and we celebrate you, King of our glory. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a moment to worship you, to bless you, to be in your presence, oh God. We love you, how we love you, how we love you, Jesus, how we love you, King of our glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
and it is in Jesus' name that we have worship. Let us give the Lord a mighty cry of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that in Psalms 34, in verses number one, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. To be here, yes, Mazuri. Okay, I see if I am 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 Sorry, prayers here 2024. The open heart of God for supernatural provision is my portion. Praise Cathedral Ark Project is our source. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Prayer number one Father, continue to set your word in exceeding dimensions, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Acts. Chapter 6, verse 7, and I read, Then the word of God spread, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests were obedient to the faith. So we are rising up on our feet to declare, Father, continue to send your word in the exceeding dimensions thereby turning this church into a city without walls. So can we rise up as that we declare, Father, continue to send your word in exceeding dimensions, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Father, continue to send your word in exceeding dimensions, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Father, continue to send your word in exceeding dimensions, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Our Father and our God uh, continue to send your word in exceeding dimensions, uh, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Uh, Father, continue to send your word uh, in exceeding dimensions, uh, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Uh, our God and our Father continue to send your word in exceeding dimensions, uh, thereby turning this church uh, into a city without walls. Uh, Father, continue continue to send your word uh, in exceeding dimensions uh, thereby turning this church uh, into a city without walls uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you sent a one and it healed them um, in the name of Jesus uh, and you prevented the mocking of glory from going into the pit in the name of Jesus. Uh, how we pray, O oh Lord Almighty, tonight uh, that you continue to send your word uh, in exceeding dimensions uh, thereby turning this church uh, into a city without walls uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Raka Ramani Ramana Razia, He Shanda Ramana Rakaribanaria, in the name of Jesus. Uh, continue to send uh, your word uh, in exceeding dimensions, uh, thereby turning this church uh, into a city without walls. Uh, oh Lord Almighty, continue to send your word of life uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in exceeding dimensions uh, all throughout this year in the name of Jesus uh, thereby turning this church uh, into
into a city without walls. Let there be O King of glory by your word. Life changing, O Lord. Turn around miracles. Turn around situations. He the mighty name of Jesus. Testimonies, O Joe, our Father, shall be our door for the day. He the mighty name of Jesus. As you continue setting your word in exceeding dimensions all throughout this year, this season, throughout this year, he the mighty name of Jesus, thereby turning this church into a city without walls. Rikara mandalazia, rea mandalaze kerere bamanda, riandi kalaze riandi karimana, riandi raze de baboria, riandi karamandalazia, re borisi kerere bora, riandi karandalazeda. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you are word of life, you are word of life. In the name of Jesus, let it be, O oh Lord, that every word that you said in every exceeding dimensions shall turn around. Every situation that is dead, in the mighty name of Jesus, every sickness is in our midst, in the mighty name of Jesus, shall be turned around by your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Rakaramanazia, Reshandaramanda, Riani Karimanda Lavaboria, Riani Kalaze Terebanda, Riani Karina Razia, in the name of Jesus, continue to send our Father in our word, in exceeding dimensions, thereby turning this church into a city without walls, thereby King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus, multitude shall turn to us and tell us we are going with you, for we are seen you have a God. We want you a God. Those are the testimonies that we want. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Father and our God, to every man of honor, to every woman of honor, to every youth, to every child, to every champion, in the mighty name of Jesus, that the word will be in great dimensions, in exceeding dimensions, that you turn this church into a city without walls. In the mighty name of Jesus, Testimonies, testimonies, more testimonies will be the order of the day. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our God and our Father, we worship you. Let us give a mighty clap of offering to our Father who will continue to send his word in exceeding dimensions, thereby turning this church into a city without us. In the name of Jesus, so we have heard in the mighty name of Jesus what you did to the early church. He will repeat it in his mission. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We are Dorothy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks and declared. May we have our seats in Jesus' name. year 2024 the open hand hand of god for supernatural provision is my portion praise god the draw act project god is our source our prayer point we are going to pray as follows father we disarm all forces of opposition to the continuous growth of this church thereby resulting in the record breaking in gathering of multitudes in this church again Father, we disarm all forces of opposition to the continuous growth, growth of this church, thereby resulting in the record-breaking in gathering of multitude into this church. We are going to be read by the word in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the dead. So let us rise up and repeat this prayer. Father, we disarm all forces of, of opposition to the continuous growth of this church, thereby resulting in the record-breaking in gathering of multitude in this church in Jesus' mighty name. Father, by your great mighty power, Jehovah, we are believing in the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, that God you are going to destroy and disarm every 
forces of opposition to the continuous growth of this church, thereby resulting in the record-breaking uh, in gathering of multitude in this church in Jesus' name. Every forces of darkness, Jehovah, how to stop the continuous growth of this church, Jehovah. We are rendering them powerless, O oh God. We disarm every plan of the enemy, any weapon the enemy is trying to use to stop this church from God grow, growing, Jehovah Redeemer. We stop it, we disarm the devil with all his demonic agenda. In the name of Jesus Christ, most high, we disprogram his plan, Jehovah Redeemer, disarming him of all forces, opposition to the continuous growth of this church, thereby resulting in the record-breaking in gathering of multitude in this church, Jehovah. What you had ordained and programmed, Jehovah, for the growth of this church, our God, it shall come to pass, O Jehovah, because no plan of the enemy we will stop this church from growing, O my Father. And so we are disarming, O dear Lord, all the forces of opposition, how to stop the continuous growth of this church, Jehovah. The, the, the Father, in the name of Jesus, resulting in the record breaking, in gathering of multitude in this church, Jehovah. We are declaring this heart, Jehovah. From above, great multitude shall come. From far and near, dear Lord. From east to west on the south, Jehovah Redeemer, keeping all the forces of hell, how to stop this church from growing, Jehovah God, keeping them under our feet, O God. May your open hand of provision call Jehovah open doors for to attract many to the kingdom, my Father, resulting Jehovah to a record breaking of multitude coming to the church this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we know by your mighty power that Jesus Christ, you won all our battles on the cross, Rimazia, Rebazia, that the blood you lead in my God, from all opposition of hell, how to stop the continuous growth of the church Jehovah, resulting in the record breaking gathering of multitude in this in church, in this year, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we are believing that by your might hand, O oh God, no soul that were danger over to come to this church will be hindered by forces of darkness. And so, Jehovah God, we are disarming all forces of opposition to the continuous growth of this church, thereby resulting in the record breaking in gathering of multitude in this church this air in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because of many souls that you are going to break the, in this church, Jehovah. Thank you because you are bringing down all the forces of hell, how to stop this church from growing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because already Jesus Christ, you have won the battle for us. We thank you the growth of this church will continue all through this year in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Let us give a clap offering to our Father as you take your seats. Year 2024, the open hand of God for supernatural provision is my portion. Praise God that we are project. Lord is our source. Our prayer number three, Father, as we gather multitudes into our Easter Ladies Empowerment Summit, kicking off tomorrow, turn every participant into a living wonder to their world. First Corinthians 2, 9, but as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Again, Father, as we gather multitudes into our Easter Ladies Empowerment Summit kicking off tomorrow, turn every participant into a living wonder to their world. Let's rise up, committing our Ladies Empowerment Summit from tomorrow, that it shall be a mountain of empowerment for every participant. Father, as you gather multitudes into our Easter Ladies Empowerment Summit, Lord Jehovah, kicking off tomorrow, turn every participant into a living wonder to their world. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes into our Easter Ladies Empowerment Summit, kicking off tomorrow, turn every participant, O oh God, into a living wonder to their world. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes into our Easter Ladies Empowerment Summit, Lord, from tomorrow, turn every participant, O oh God, into a living wonder to their world. Turn every participant, my Father, 
into a living water, Lord, in their world. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you gather multitudes, Lord, multitudes of ladies, O oh God, from all walks of life, dear Father, the young and the old, precious Lord, as you gather ladies, O oh King of glory, in our ladies, and upon the summit to, from tomorrow, turn every participant, Lord, into a living wonder, turn every participant, O oh God, into a living wonder, my Father, in the mighty name of the Lord. Father, as you gather multitudes of ladies, O oh God, from all walks of life, dear Father, the high and the mighty, movers and shakers, O oh Lord, the young and the old, dear Lord, many ladies, O oh King of glory, you are gathering from tomorrow, Lord, in our ladies and from the summit, turn every participant, O oh God, into a living wonder, turn every participant, O oh Lord, into a living wonder, hallelujah, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord, as you gather, Lord, multitudes of ladies, O oh God, ladies, my Father, young and the old, dear Lord, O oh, Father, Lord Jehovah, from our sub-counties, Kikuyu sub-county, Lari sub-county, Limuru sub-county, Kabete sub-county, Dagureti sub-county, the entire county of Kiabu, Lord, Nairobi, my Father, and the entire nation of Kenya, Lord, as you gather multitude of ladies, O oh God, O oh, hallelujah, turn every participant into a living wonder, turn every participant into a living wonder, turn every participant, O oh God, into a living wonder, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of the Lord, Father, Lord Jehovah, send your fishermen to fish many ladies, O oh God, those, Lord, that are our members, even our partners, Lord, even strangers, our Father, shall gather in our ladies and upon them some tomorrow, they shall hear come. <coughs> A compelling voice of the Holy Spirit, compelling them, my Father, to come to our three days of summit in the mighty name of the Lord. Huria Shekeria Biaria Zenda, Kurai Biaria Zenteria, Huria Shekeria Biaria Zenda, Kenteria Shaira, Father, in the mighty name of the Lord. Gather many, Lord Jehovah, ladies from tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, into our ladies' empowerment summit. Gather them from the east, gather them from the west, gather them from the north, gather them from the south, dear Father. This shall be, my Lord, a mountain of empowerment, and you are turning every participant into a living wonder. But you are our dear Lord, oh hallelujah, send your word from the altar, 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 the right word, oh God, your word in season, you are a word, dear Lord, to every participant, dear Father, that shall turn every one of them into a living wonder, Father, in the name of the Lord, and now we are the powerless, all satanic interferences against our ladies and poor summit. We end up powerless. All oh, satanic interferences against our ladies and poor men summit. And Satan will tell you, you are under our feet. 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 But we shall take charge tomorrow. We shall take charge on Saturday. We shall take charge on Sunday. The poor of the Lord shall be present. Father, in the name of the Lord, as you gather multitudes into our ladies and poor men summit from tomorrow. Turn every participant into a living wonder to their world. We thank you, Lord, for good weather. Thank you for good weather tomorrow. Thank you for good weather on Saturday. Thank you for good weather on Sunday. Thank you, Lord, for your awesome presence that shall be in our midst. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Please take your seat. year 2024 when heart of God for supernatural provision is my portion praise cathedral Ark project God is our source I'm here for prayer number four thank you Ajo father by faith I declare that anything dead in my life shall be selected by the power that raised Jesus from the dead this Easter season uh, Romans 8, verse 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, 
He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm smiling because it has to become in Jesus' mighty name. But let me read again. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. In Jesus' mighty name. So for our prayer, number four, Father, by faith I declare that anything dead in my life shall be selected by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. This is a season. Declare that there will be no more failures after this. When Jesus was raised from the dead, in Jesus' mighty name, can you be an up on our feet? Re karamandalazia, re kerebo, rababore si andi karababanda, ra karababore si andi karababanda, re kerebo, ra sada karababale, re kerezi andi karamanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, by faith, I declare that anything dead, ramali kali bababolia, rimanale zetere. In my life, shall be selected by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. This is the season. Re karamala siya de re babolia, rashanda ra babalia da siya. Re kere re banda si kere babanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the Spirit of God re ani kara si ani kara manda. Re kere re bandi re siya. Re ndala sanda kara bababanda. Re re babole siya ni kara banda. Carry the spirit of God, uh, the spirit uh, that carries you uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that is Jesus. Uh, that is Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, from the dead, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Re kalani rasia da kariba, re abababoli adiba si adasia. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, there must be evidence uh, of an Easter season uh, here, 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, everything that is dead in my life. Uh, Anything that is dead, uh, any faculty that is dead uh, in my life, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in my marriage, uh, in my family, by the cry, the mighty name of Jesus, uh, by the same spirit uh, that is Jesus from the dead, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you must resurrect now, you must resurrect now, you must resurrect now, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, there must be something, uh, there must be a memorial of a resurrection. Selected as something uh, in my life, uh, in my marriage, uh, in my family, in our children's lives. Uh, this selection, uh, we are speaking this selection uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, by the same spirit uh, that brought Jesus back from dead. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, it has no loss its capacity. In the name of Jesus, re anda karamanda lirazia, re karamanda zetele baba wanda, re andi kalande lirazia, he shanda raba. Maria de Sia, Re Calanda la Zetere de Bamanda, Ria de Calazira de Cariba, Hiere Bobore Sia de Carabada, Hiere Bore Setereba, in the mighty name of Jesus, he declared his selection, Ricare Caresana, his selection, his selection, his selection, he Calasana, in the mighty name of Jesus, not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the loving God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. That we have declared it uh, and it shall become uh, to every one of us uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever we have declared, oh Lord, uh, it let it be in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we thank you. Let us give a mighty hand clap uh, for everything is selected, uh, for everything is selected in our lives uh, to the glory and honor of his holy name. Uh, we can only come back uh, with the multitudes of testimonies uh, of this selection uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, it will be a narrow we go through the season without having anything to show for it. And we receive it in the name of Jesus. We refuse. We refuse in Jesus' mighty name. And it is in Jesus' mighty name we have given thanks and declared. May we have our seats in Jesus' name. Amen. Year 2024. The open hand of God for supernatural provision is our portion. Praise God, the Dwarf Project. God is our source. This time around, we shall go before the Lord, committing our needs before him. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. 
the word of God says, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Praise the Lord. God is ready to answer as we call. Therefore, you are going to stay in the position that you choose, whether sitting down, kneeling, or standing, just in the presence of the Lord and cry to him and the Lord is ready to answer. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the one that I say that I call to you and as I call you, will answer and show me great and mighty things, Lord, that I do not know. I am here, Lord. I am calling. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the answers to our prayers. We thank you, Lord, that you have heard the voice of our supplication, the voice of our petition, O King of Glory. We thank you, Lord, for the answers to our prayers. Let us thank the Lord that he has heard our cry, and we have the answers to our prayers. Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you for all the answers to our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Please take your seats. 
this time I'll come the praise and worship to take us further. Hallelujah. We are 2024. The God the supernatural provision is my portion. And the praise cathedral art project. God is our source. Indeed, He is our source, and we give Him praise for that. Hallelujah. Psalms 95, verse 1 says, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the rock of our salvation. We are going to praise him, the rock of our salvation. Amen. He is the one who helps us fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Let us be upstanding so that we can praise him. Hallelujah. To pigia Yesu makofi. Inu kam sifu bwana. Inu kam sifu bwana. to Praise Cathedral Act Project. God is our source. Amen. We want to thank God. He's a, he's a mighty father. And I want to take this opportunity to thank the Lord because of such a privilege and such an honor from the servant of the Lord and from my mom in the Lord that uh, you have allowed us to serve you this day and uh, we do not take it for granted. Thank you so much. I want to welcome those who are watching uh, online from Africa, from Asia, from Australia, 
from North and South American continent, from all over the world. Welcome and let us be blessed together. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the other day, uh, the servant of God said that uh, the only time you never be asked to copy notes is when you are preaching the word of God, isn't it? So I want to assure you, brethren, that there is nothing new that we are sharing today. Today is a Bible study, and I want to thank God because of this privilege. So we are going to share the word of God, and uh, it's the same word that we have been hearing. And I want to thank God because the Bible says that in every month, the fruit, the tree yields a fruit. And the fruit that the Lord gave us, gave the servant of God for this month, is that we continue fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. Ask your neighbor, are you still fighting the good fight? Are you still fighting? Are you still fighting the good fight of faith? What have they said? Thank you very much. I am fighting the good fight of faith. I want us to share in the word, the topic that the Lord has given us tonight is the importance of having faith. Reason why Faith is important in your life. Why you need faith in your life. There are many reasons why we need faith. And we are going to mention just a few because of our time. And as the word of God tells us that um, what is faith? In the book of Hebrews 11 and verse 6, we know what faith is. It is uh, uh, Hebrews 11 and verse 1. Yeah? No, verse 1. Sorry. The word of God says that now faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. That is, the, I, I, uh, if you read the word of God, I, I'm not sure, but I found it is like the dictionary. The way you open the, the dictionary and it will give you the definition. So, the word faith has been defined in the word of God that now faith is the substance of things that we hope for and the evidence of things that are yet to be seen. Amen. So, um, and another thing is that we all, every day that we live, we live a life of faith. Everything that we do in life, it is, it is it, we live faith by sitting down, you don't confirm that that tear will fall down, isn't it? You just sit. Cindy, when you're making your bed in the morning when you wake up, it is by faith that you know, Gioni nita ilalia. Cindy, yeah, you make that bed by faith. You say, Gioni nita, by faith, I will sleep on the bed. So every day we live a faithful day, a faithful day. So it is my prayer tonight that you will not be found with no faith in God. Amen. You may have faith in many things, but today I want us to share the importance of having faith in God. Number one is that faith is the foundation of our salvation. Number one importance is that as long as you are born again, then you cannot be born again without faith. It is because of that faith that you got born again many years ago and even today, you are born again. So we say that by faith we get and we remain saved. The word of God in Ephesians 2 and verse 9. Give us the word of God in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, for by grace, 2 verse 9, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and not of yourself. It is the gift of God and not of works, lest anyone boast. Amen. So we get saved by the faith. It is, it, faith lays the foundation of our salvation. And therefore, I was asking myself, and I keep asking myself, when they read this verse, what do they think? In a, in a, they think it, the Christians who are not born again, when they see this word, it says, for by grace you have been saved through faith. 
and that not of yourself, it is by the gift of God. So the people who are not born again, they need to believe in the word of God and say, it is because by faith I am saved by the grace of God. I am going to accept the, the, the free gift of God. So I want to encourage us for you to sustain your salvation. Keep nurturing your faith. Otherwise, if you see anyone backsliding, anyone backsliding, just be assured that they compromised their faith. They lost their faith. They, they, they exchanged their faith with something. But for us to remain born again, we need that seed, that aspect of faith to remain in us that we may continue saying every morning that Jesus is Lord. Amen? So for you to remain born again, and indeed born again, you need to have the aspect of faith in you. You cannot be, you cannot be, um, and yet even hell do not recognize you. You know, you can be born again, theoretically, but even hell don't care. They, I mean, they don't recognize that kuna mtu kama wewe. Why? Because your faith does not shake the enemy. So let us pray that we shall just not be casual people who, born again people who have no faith. But let us try to nurture our faith. Why? Because we are saying that faith is a foundation of our salvation. Usikue tu mukristiano mwenye tu anasema, we are going to heaven, but you, you have no impact. So every day, cry to the Lord that he may make your faith tangible. Now, Galatians chapter 2 and verse 1. Verse 16. Galatians 2 verse 16. It says, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. It is the faith that justifies a man. Even when we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. For by works of the law, no flesh shall be justified. So as a Christian, please continue fighting the good fight of faith. And again, Paul tells Timothy, keep guarding your faith. Keep guarding your faith. Keep guarding your faith. Because as a born again Christian, I can assure you, hakuna kitu shetani anachapananga now in your life. It is yourself. It is your faith. It is your faith. So, for you to remain born again, don't allow any aspect of the enemy to fight your faith. So, we are saying it is faith that lays a foundation of our salvation. Importance number two. You know very well that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without the aspect of faith, we are saying the importance of faith in my life. So, without the aspect of faith, it is impossible to please God. Why? We know we are called to please God in everything that you do. When you help them, you are pleasing God. Let us see the word of God in Hebrews chapter 6 and 11 verse 6. It says, but without faith, we know this. 11 verse 6. Alright? Yeah. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that God is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So, uh, although the next point is talking about uh, the level of faith, um, there is, I know there is nothing that would discourage you as a father or as a mother when your child do not have trust that you can help them. You can pay their school fees. You know, uko tu, you have, they, if they ever try to show you to, that any aspect that a child may show you that they have no faith in you as their father, as their mom, I'm sure you will not feel good. And I'm sure this is what happens to God. Anytime you are in any situation and yet you are doubting, like now to Meambiwa, we are in our month of fighting the good fight of faith or Jesus, God already spoke, and he said that year 2024, this is a year that the Lord is opening his hand to supernaturally provide. And then mungu tuwa kipiti hapo kwako, anasikia ukisema kumete. And you know, they already, he has already released the word, isn't it? 
You remember when he was with, when he, he appeared to the, to the disciples? And of course, they were afraid because they thought it's a ghost. You know that. And then Peter, Akajijaza. So he told Jesus, if you are the one, I'm coming. Then what Jesus told him, come. See, Jesus alimwambia, come. Alimwambia, kuja. Then Jesus, no, this uh, Peter, of course, he stepped out and he started going towards Jesus. But he doubted. The storms raged. And he, doubt, he did what? He doubted Jesus. You don't know how Jesus felt. He felt so disappointed that how, how, how do you not? Nimekwambia, I am supernaturally supplying this year. Sindio? Then, when the other people are saying the economy is bad, even you, and I have already told you to come, you already found saying like the people that have no word. Unajua, it is Peter who was told to come. Sindio? So when Jesus saw that he did not, he doubted his coming or his support, then he told him, how, how, how come you have so little faith? Why did you doubt? Sawa, sawa. So we are saying, let us try as much as we can as Christians, especially born again Christian. Wata to siangushe God kwa kutokuwa na imani. Kutokuwa na imani. Sindio? Yes, because the word of God is telling us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Let us try as much as we can. Let us watch, watch what we are saying. Let us watch what our mouths are saying. Is it contrary to what the word God has already told us to come? On Sunday, we listened to the word of God. He ministered to us through his servant. And even in the morning, uh, we are coming church. And we were told that um, faith is in levels. Sindio, we were told there is dead faith. We were told there is little, and we were told there is great faith. So we are saying the aspect number three, why you need faith, is because Jesus notices and he sees your level of faith. He does. So be careful with your faith, because Jesus is able to notice. If you have little faith, he knows you have little faith, and he does not feel good. Sawa, sawa. Now, I am praying tonight that God is not going to look at us at any one point and realize that we have little faith. Akuna kitu, nimesema, I'm sure God feels bad by seeing us have no faith. Especially, and I'm going to repeat about the provision. Right now, there are people who are being promoted. Sindio? There are people whose salaries are being doubled. In the same economy, why? Because maybe somebody said, even if there is a layoff in organization, as for me, according to my faith, mimi salary yangu haiwezi kaenda chini. Sindio? So, let us, not, let us pray that God will not find us with a little faith. Um, th let me see whether there is any verse. Uh, show us Matthew chapter 8 and verse 23. Show us Matthew chapter 8. Verse 23. Um, yeah. This is about, this is when the disciples, this is when Jesus was noticing the little faith. And I was saying, the same way he was noticing and rebuking his disciples because of little faith. Let me tell you, he still rebukes us today. He, he still notices. So this is now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Let's read. Let's go proceed. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea so that the boat was covered with the waves but Jesus was asleep in the same boat. Sindio? Now the same disciples they, 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 are, they awoke Jesus and they told him Lord save us. We are perishing. Now but he said to them why are you fearful? O you of little faith. And then he arose and he rebuked the wheat and the sea and the sea and there was a great calm. Now that time, the, the, it's okay. The, the, Jesus did not feel very pleased. Nikama, it's like a father. Yeah? A father is somewhere with their children um, and the father has money in his pocket. Then the, he's, he hears the children talking about, hey, squeeze it, squeeze it, 
you know. So the father would not feel good. Why? Because the children are not believing in, within the power that the father has, that they are not trusting that the father can feed. So anytime you have little faith, Jesus notices. Let us see Matthew 14 verse 31 and then move to the next point because of our time. Matthew 14 verse, I think this is the one I've talked about Peter. Yeah, it is, it is the one that we talked about Peter, that Jesus rebuked Peter. Yeah, he, he rebuked Peter because he got disappointed. Th that is Matthew chapter 14 and verse 31. It is about Peter. Now, we said when you have little faith, Jesus notices. So, I want us to pray and believe God, that God, you who grow faith, from no faith to little faith to great faith, grow my faith. Now, to mesema, that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, point number four. We need faith because by faith, you are able to receive anything that you need and desire from the Lord. And I was reading the word of God in Matthew chapter 4, verse 30, Matthew 14, 34 to 36. And I was desiring what was happening. Matthew 14, verse 34 to 36. Yeah. So when they had crossed over, they came to the land of that one. Let's proceed. And when the men of that place recognized Jesus, the men of that place, when they recognized Jesus, they sent out, they sent out into all the surrounding region, brought to him all who are sick. Now, even before you proceed, go back. We are saying when they saw Jesus, they had faith. Because if they did not have faith that Jesus will heal the people, they would not have sent for the sick and the crippled and the lame and all of them. But because they saw this is Jesus and they had faith, they said, kill them to, from wherever you are, come, bring them, because Jesus is here and he will heal them. Let's move to the next one. And they begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment. Look at the faith of those people. Tafadhali, may we only touch, not even the whole garment. We know by that faith we will receive our healing. And as many as touched it, it, it means, they had faith that if only we touch the hem, hem ni ukuchini, we will receive our healing. And as many as touched it, it meaning the garment, they were all made perfectly well. And I was praying that may God make our faith, multitude, all of us, kusikwe kuna mtu mwenye hananga imani kwa hii church. May it be that we are all men and women of faith. Why? Because we know when we have faith, there is nothing that we cannot receive from our Father. And I was saying, Kube, when you have faith, you have everything. When you have faith, you have everything. Let us desire to have faith. Because we are saying, as long as you have faith, you are able and qualified to receive everything that you desire in life. Number five is that when you have great faith, that's how to metoka kwa little faith. Now, when you have great faith, that great faith will move God to action. It will move God to act. It is your great faith that will move God to act. We are saying it is by the reason of the great faith that people receive their desired testimonies. Amen. Now, James chapter 1 verse 5 to 7. James 1 5 to 7. It says that whatever you are praying to God, you pray without doubting. James 1 verse 7. In Asema, whatever we are asking from God, you ask of the same without doubting. Without doubting means that here you do not have the small faith, the no faith, now you have the great grace, the great faith. Mark 11 verse 22. Mark 11 verse 22. It says, have faith in God. Mark 11, 
verse 22. It says, have faith in God. If there is anything that I pray in my life, I pray that I may be a faithful woman of God. I pray that I may have, I may have faith. It is very hard, by the way, to hear me talking things that I know they will affect me. So I have grown to believe that my faith, when I have faith, I am able to conquer every mountain. And it is my prayer. May we all grow from little, from no faith, all of us, to little faith and to great faith. I want us to, to read um, verse of the same, verse 23 to 24. 23 to 24. I want us to have faith from tonight. Wewe mwenye ukona imani kidogo. Just have, pray. Instead of praying for money, instead of praying for money, just pray for faith. Just pray that God will grow your faith. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. It is because you have faith and you are not doubting. Believe that you Believe, believe that you receive them and you will surely have them. So my prayer again to you, women of valor, men of honor, our youth and our champions, our teenagers, our children, may we have faith. Nasio lazima ukue mtu mkubwa di ukue na imani apana. Faith, faith, faith is a gift from God, but you have to desire. You have to desire that faith from God. Now I want us to see some faith that made Jesus to move. Faith that moved Jesus. We are going to see it in Matthew chapter 9 and verse 18. I, I, my prayer is by the end of this service and call, by the end of this service that you may desire to grow a lot of faith. To have a lot of faith. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 18. Verse 18. Jesus, this is where Jesus was, 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 he was with the king of Matthew. And so many tax collectors came. And therefore, the Pharisees were asking him questions. These are mambo mingi. But look at verse number 18. While Jesus spoke these things to them, behold, a ruler came and worshipped Jesus, saying, my daughter has just died. But come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. I don't know whether you can see faith there. Go back to the same verse. The same verse, number 18. I want us to see the great faith of this man. My daughter is not about to die. She's not about to die. She is not about to die. She has just died. But look at, comma, but, but come, and lay your hand on her, and she will live. Look at the way this man is speaking about his dead business. Look at the way he's talking about his, his dead situation. But come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. Anajua kwa imani. Yesu tu ukikuja, umwekele mkono ataishi. Let us see the next verse. Verse number 19. Imagine, Jesus did not even ask, where are we going? Where is she dead? Amekufia wapi? Jesus did not ask anything. Why do you think Jesus did not ask anything? Because he was marveled by the level of the high, great faith of this man. Immediately, from this verse to the next one, so Jesus arose. Arose and followed him. And so did his disciples. Jesus, that loved the But because Jesus saw, he saw the faith of this man, he had no option but to follow him. And of course, you know, on the way, we see that should be verse number 20, the next verse 20. 20, 20. And suddenly, look at another, another faith here. This, by the Matthew chapter 9 is full of. Mujiza, but all of it is as a, as a result of the faith of the people. And suddenly a woman who had a flow of blood for 12 years came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. Let's move on. 
for she said, look at what this woman said. What are you saying in your heart? Are you saying ni kunoma? Are you saying ni kubaya? Are you saying it is difficult to get that promotion? Are you saying my son has been getting a D plus in mathematics? What are you saying in your heart? And guess what? You don't have to speak it. You say it in your heart. He can hear what you're saying. This woman did not tell anyone. She said within her heart, if only I may touch his garment. If only, in her heart, if only I can touch his garment, I shall be made well. That is the faith of this woman. Tatibo faith. Anasema, hasemi ni kubaya. Anasema, mimi as long as it is him who spoke. It is him who said that he shall supply to all our needs this year. He shall supernaturally promote on kia kukoaje. I know, I know my case must be different. Sawa, sawa. So, those are the two uh, great, there are many, there are many, there are many, there are many examples of great faith we have the Canaanite woman. We have the centurion servant. You, understand, you remember. And Jesus, Jesus said, in Israel, I have not had such faith. Yani, he, his faith in Mephika, he level. He does not even want me to come to his home. He just wants me to speak a word. Where I am, I speak a word. And the servant will be healed. What great faith these men of God have. And amazingly, me, I don't know whether the Jairus was a Christian. I don't know whether he was, a, he, he was a Jew. But I'm sure even the centurion was not. The Canaanite woman was not a Jew. But yet, look at their faith. In fact, kuna mahali ni mesoma bishop. And I felt, um, I pray that Christians mungu idea. After Jesus uh, had what the... the, the the centurion servant said, Aksama, you know Israel, Israel have not had such faith. That kind of faith. And then Akaendelea Akasema, I tell you that you people of faith, that people will come from north, they will come from east, south, and sit with Abraham, and sit with Jacob in heaven. Anasema, tunaeza zoea, faith. Tunaeza zoea. Sindio? Na watu wenye hawana people who are not even Christians at the end of the day, because they have faith in God, you find them in heaven. And then wa Christiano, wale wamekua tu hawajielewi, wakue cast out into the lake of fire. May it never be the portion of any Christian in Jesus' mighty name. It would make Jesus feel so bad. So may we work towards our faith. Again we are saying Great faith. Sasa he, we have going to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the next point. But even before we move that, uh, we are about to clear. I, I noted that faith, faith is, uh, faith is uh, in a petition. Like what our children, our children, by the way, they listen to us. Even when we are undergoing through situations, they want to hear what you are saying. I, uh, last night I was remembering what happened to our son Trevor. Uh, may God bless him. Um, when he cleared class 8, he had a lot of faith. A lot of faith. Because it is him who showed us the school where he is today. Maybe I was, I was passing through that road to Nairobi many years, but I can assure you, I had never seen the school where he is. I had never, I had never seen it for reasons I can't tell. But because he was studying somewhere near the school in his primary school, when he go to class six or seven, he started saying, Mimi, nitaeda Nairobi school. And he had a lot of faith, and he kept saying, Mimi, hapo dipo nitaeda. So until me and the father, akatua bukiza, we started saying, it is where you are going, and you are going to get 400 marks. So, because, I didn't, know, I didn't know it was a national school. So, but he knew it was, I think, because maybe the teachers were telling them. But what amazed me about his faith is that when he passed very well by the grace of God, um, before they got admitted to the, to the schools, we got an offer. We got an offer to take him to a very nice school, a very, very nice school. You remember that offer that we got. And because Hatu Kutaka Kukosana na Trevor, 
to us, we were clapping and praising God in the morning, in the evening, at night. We were telling God, thank you, what a mighty God you are. You have answered our prayers. You have met us at the very point of our need. Glory be to your name. And we were very happy with the Father. And I tell you, God, you, hey, you know, hey, you met, you met, you met, you met, hallelujah. So, but one day, Trevor Akatukalisha Chirina Babayake, I wanted to listen to his faith. He told us, Mimi, I'm not, me sina shida. But he gave us a condition. He told us, as long as Nita Itwa Nairobi School, Mimi Nikito Nairobi School, Sita Kata Kweda Hio Shule, Niki Itwa Nairobi School, no, Nisipo Itwa Nairobi School, Nisipo Itwa Nairobi School. Na naongea kwa imani. He had a lot of faith. I could see the faith in him. Tell me, ma'am, kama sita ito Nairobi school, sina shida nitaenda hiyo shule. Aka, aka nyamaza. Aka sema, lakini, niki ito Nairobi school, tafadhali, musi nikataze. And because I knew me and the father, we were champions in prayer, praying and declaring and receiving. Tuka kubaliana very fast. Tuka mwambia, it's okay. <laughs> See, we knew we had prayed. To go to Meamba in Jesus' name. <laughs> we knew. <laughs> so, Ubi Alikwana Imani. He had a lot of faith. He had a lot of faith. So, come, Shule Zime Zime Itanoa. Sindio? Hey, we got a message. Nairobi School. Nairobi School. Why? Because of the faith of a young man. He won, he won. So now we had no option but to tell God thank you because you have shown him. And then another thing, let me, let me, let me, I'm, I'm about to finish. On the same, still on the same faith. The mother to, I want our champions to know that you can speak faith and things will happen. Another parent who was in the same school told us, after I made it to Nairobi school, she told us there are many dormitories in that school. But I want us, that was before, before Sasa wa, 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 wa ende. I want us to believe God that at a, at a, she, he will be admitted in a particular dormitory. Why? Because in that school, the school is very big. And therefore, we have some dorms that are very far. So students have to walk very far to get to those dorms. At night when it is raining, it's, it's, a, it's a long distance. So akatuambia, mimi mtoto wangu alikuwa hii dom. Nataka tuamini ata itwa. So now that asha itwa hiyo shule, we believed and we told God, now, wewe ni wewe umempeleka hiyo shule, we are believing that ata itwa, it's called masabit. Ata itwa, masabit. We, we started believing God, ata itwa, masabit dom. And guess what? Now when we were calling the school, when now that time came, and I'm the one, in fact, who called the secretary, Nikauliza, um, sasa tunanunua uniform gani, then we are told you are going to buy yellow. Oh, yellow ni ya dormitory gani, ni ya masabit. Ni ya masabit. What were you saying? We are saying, when you have faith, when you have faith, there is nothing that God can, even such a simple prayer, of a dome, of a dome, of a dome. So now when you go to his school, his dome is just here, but you can see others that are very, very far. So when it is raining, it is in the morning, at least we prayed that prayer and we were favored to have him, um, to have him admitted in the school and in the dome that we desired him to have by the reason of faith. Now, finally, um, great faith strengthens us during trials. Andika here. Great faith strengthens us during trials. It is our faith that helps us to remain strong during hard time. And we have an enemy, the devil, who targets our faith. But we know very well, I had already told you, that whenever as a Christian you are undergoing through any faith, the enemy, anataka tu, he just want to shake you. Anataka tu kukushtua. Aone, are you stable? Are you standing? Are you standing in your faith? But from today, I am making a prayer for you. May you stand in your faith. Give us the word of God in Ephesians 6 and verse 16. We are about to finish about faith. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16. Above all, take 
taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. I want to encourage you, my brother. I want to encourage you, my sister. If you are undergoing any kind of trial, which we as Christians always undergo, always undergo. I told you we are candidates. We, we know, we know, but we know. Jesus knows that with faith, with your faith, you know, it amazes, it pleases God so much. When the devil tries to touch you anyway, and then God, Gioni, and ask you, Kiabia, the devil, you think you have done anything to me? Shame on you, devil. You have not, you think you have hurt me. You think, kunafikiria kuna kitu menifanyia, devil. Shame on you. I'm still standing in my God. You don't know what that does to God. You don't know. It pleases him that he's telling us, as long as you have faith, it, you are taking the shield of faith with which you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Because the enemy anakuthro yangia tu arrows tuingine tu aone kama bado uko. Sindio? So, ili akipata umelala anaitana, ili alete the, the hot one. Sindio? But when he throws those darts and he finds that you have a lot of faith, then and you are quenching him by that faith. You are not shaken, and you are not complaining, and you are not fighting God, and you are not bitter with God. Then Jesus has nothing else to do but to come and save you from all other fiery darts from the enemy. Amen. I want you to, do, to know that the testing of your faith, it produces patience. As we start firm in faith, through trials, God gets glory. Let us get 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 7. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 7. Let us pray that God will grow our faith. Because me I know, when I have faith, I have everything. When I have faith, I have everything. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, yes, that the genuineness of your faith even if I may touch the hem. That was a genuine faith. It was her genuine faith. The man who was saying that God, you don't even have to, you don't have to send, you don't have to come, just send your word. My daughter have just died, but just come that you may lay your hand. Ili Aishi. Now that is what is called the genuineness of faith. Being much more. Now listen, you know how gold is precious. Sindio? Na tunambia gwa gold inapitia kwa moto ili ikue farm. Sindio? But we are being told the genuineness of your faith. If you have genuine, not fake faith. If you have genuine faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire may be found to praise. So your genuine faith, is, is, it praises God, it honors, and finally, it glorifies the, revel the revelation of Jesus Christ. So we are saying that it is our faith, our genuine faith, that brings glory to God. Amen. Finally, our faith encourages others, I can assure you. When you are found with a lot of faith, Imagine at Jana uli ulipata accident. Jana uliumia mahali tu. Uliumia. By mistake uliumia. The plan of the enemy was to harm you. But you are in the house of God today. You are hurt yesterday. The enemy thought the devil thought ooh, the devil is a liar. He's a liar all the time. He thought nimemuumiza kwa hivyo hata hati yake iko wapi? Iko down. Today the devil wakes up and finds you in the house of God. And yet yesterday there is a misery that he has sent to, to you. Now we are saying such kind of faith, my sister, it encourages somebody. Unshakable faith is noticeable. I can assure you. Anyone that has faith, modu ni amenye kagori ya Kuna mtu mwenye venya naongea, hana msimamo. You can tell. Uo mtu hatuko pamoja. So when you have unshakable faith, it is noticeable. And it encourages others to firm in their faith too. Colossians 1, verse 3 to 4. Colossians 1. May God grow our faith. May God grow our faith. Colossians 1, verse 3 to 4. We give thanks to the God this is, this is Paul and Timothy, and they were writing to the church of the Colossians, and they were telling them, we give thanks 
to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying all, always for you. Let's move on. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. That one is enough. You're saying, do you don't know how Paul got encouraged that while our total kanisa alikuwa na hubiria, iyo faith yao bado iko. So we are saying, when you have faith, you encourage others. Ephesians 6 verse 13. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 6 verse 13. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Verse 14. Ama hakuna. Is it verse 14? Stand, therefore, having guarded your ways with the truth, having put on the breast, breastplate of righteousness. So we are saying, when you have faith, like there's a time we were, we were, the time I was trusting God for my promotion and the crazy faith that Jesus saw. I have been given a letter and the letter has been given wherever it was written. And yet I have, I have no doubt in my heart that this has to change. You know, Jesus looks at that faith and he say, if I disappoint her with such kind of faith, when will she ever believe in me? When else, if I disappoint her at that level, kama anaweza pata barua imeandikwa uende Mount Kenya. Alafu mwenyewe anaambia mtumishi wa Mungu, cancel that letter, write it where I desire to be. Do you think God can disappoint me? Do you think God can do that? Now God looks at that faith. Now test God with your faith. When other people are saying nikubaya, where we are be a God, you are the one who said that you shall supply supernaturally, supernaturally this year. And you know, whenever such a word is released, having had uh, read the word of God, if such a word is released, most probably the economy haikuangi poa. Naturally haikuangi poa. Lakini, the word is being, because look at Jesus. How can Jesus tell Peter to come? Do you imagine? Nanajua Jesus, Peter is not God. Sindio? So we are saying, when such a word is released, be sure the economy may not be that good. But Jesus anataka kutest. How faithful are you? Even when the economy is the way it is, are you faithful enough to declare like that woman? When the other people are closing their businesses, Esther, I am not closing mine. Because when you ni come, you have told me to come and therefore, huwezi ukaniachilia nizame ukiniangalia. So we are saying, the word has been released. That this is the year that the Lord will supernaturally meet us at the very point of our need. What are you saying about your dead business? What words are you speaking to it? What, situ what are you telling your child who is not performing well? The word has been released that our children are the head and not the tail. What are you telling them? Amen. May the Lord grow our faith from no faith to little faith to great faith that will make Jesus to follow us to come and resurrect our businesses, to follow us to come and resurrect our dead issues in Jesus' mighty name. May we all stand that we may welcome the servant of the Lord. May the Lord bless us so much. Let us appreciate the Lord. He's faithful. He deserves all. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate the servant of God for the one that has come away. Amen. Praise the Lord. The importance of faith. According to the word that has come away, now you know that why above every other thing in your life, the enemy will target your faith. He will not target any other thing. When you see the enemy doing anything against your life, he just wants to break your faith. But remember, what is the source of faith? The source of faith is the word. Faith comes by hearing. Let's go ahead. 
and hearing by the word of God. So, if at all you want to secure your faith, it is not by prayer. It is by staying in the word. Like the word we had received. You just stay in the word. You are focused on that word. He said, you cannot please God without what? Not without a car. Not without coming to church. You cannot please God without faith. Because the way God will pass through his blessings to you, it is not by connections. It is by faith. Connections are manifestations of faith. Getting promotion, your son passing exam, your daughter, it is manifestation of faith. So everything is about faith. And so all the importance that we have received tonight, may they become our portion in the name of Jesus. We have been asked, what are you saying concerning your life? I want us to activate the word of God. Can you go ahead and begin to make some powerful declaration of faith over your life, over your situation, over your career, over your family? Let's go ahead and begin to hammer it in the name of Jesus. By faith, I must receive my testimonies in the name of Jesus. By faith, I must go far. By faith, yes, I must shine brighter and brighter. In the mighty name of the Lord, Rabakaturia Makazeka Plenurida, Pakaya Zakata, Reboko Zekapa, Rebleke Zoko Palagada. Lord, now that my faith has been built up, I declare in the name of the Lord, by faith I receive according to my expectation. In the mighty name of the Lord, by faith I receive every blessing, every testimony that God has for me, that God has for my wife, that God has for my children, my son, my daughter, in the mighty name of the Lord. Manda rebo sheka pagato, rebleke zoko palika tabala, bleko sheka palado, remaka zoko polika da, by faith, O Lord. I declare in the name of Jesus, the enemy will never get at my faith. By faith I quench every fiery dust of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name above every name. Oh, Rapagatoria Makara, Repokose Kapayando, Rekapre Soko Palagara. By faith I receive, O Lord. I receive according to my expectation in the mighty name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we celebrate you. Appreciate the Lord by our declaration of faith. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Now listen. Can you tell your neighbor huh. what God has said don't tell yourself, tell your neighbor what God has said. Faith can make it happen. Look at another one, tell another one. What God has said in his word, your faith can make it happen. So, why is it not happening? It's not the economy of Kenya. Uh -uh. It's not that your family members hate you. It's not that there are people who are against you. Everybody was where we are. The way they came out is by faith. Your faith will produce results in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, the communion before us is blessed. We are partaking this communion by faith. Believing, oh God, that as we partake this communion, whatever you said in your word concerning the holy communion shall happen in our lives, shall happen in our systems, shall happen in everything about us in the mighty name of Jesus. The communion before us is already blessed in Jesus' mighty name. 
our Father, we pray and give thanks. Please celebrate the Lord and have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Shall we go ahead and partake the communion in Jesus' name? We are blessed. adoration for what you have done already over our lives. Take all the praise, take all the honor for the testimonies by your word and the holy communion in Jesus mighty name. Our father we pray and give thanks. Let's celebrate the Lord together by faith we believe a Lord has taken place in our lives. God bless you. Please have your seat. May your faith continue to grow until it will deliver testimonies. Did you know the Bible says that whatever you do, it is in the Bible, without faith, it is sin. You can imagine. That means everything about us, it is supposed to be faith. Sitting down, standing, walking, eating, giving offering, Praising God, fasting, praying, whatever you do. He said, without faith, they call you a sinner. It is sin. So from here, 
may your faith grow to a level whereby even in little things, we shall believe God. Amen? You are blessed. It's time to give. Let's give by faith that those who give, the Bible says, you will receive back good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Lift it high before the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity you've given us to give in the house of the Lord. We are not taking it for granted. The giving of your people is blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, our Father, we give thanks. Amen. Let's go ahead and give in the presence of the Lord. We are dropping it at the altar. And in case uh, you are using your phone, the number is already there. But remember our tradition, you must come and connect to the altar for the same. And don't forget we are doing it by faith. Give, it shall be given to you. Full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As we continue to give one or two announcements, today uh, is our midweek service. So tomorrow we shall not be here for midweek service on Friday. And also our covenant, our prayer, the morning devotion, we shall not be here because uh, you all know that we have a great, great event. That is our Ladies' Empowerment <laughs> Summit. If you have been praying about it, I believe you are very, very expectant. Praise the name of the Lord. Three things that are very, very important in such a meeting. Number one, so that tonight and tomorrow and on Saturday and on Sunday, you pray for the same. Number one, the presence of God. Number two, the preparedness of the servant of God. And number three, the expectation of God's people. Because even if the servant of God is prepared, the presence of God is there. But people are not expectant. Nothing will happen. The reason as to why today we are empowered is because you are very expectant. I, I, always, I, I always desire to minister on Friday yeah, during the, uh, the spiritual emphasis. I, I, I enjoy it. Even if there will be few people, I, I preach like I'm preaching to thousands of people. Why? Because these are people who are fasting. There is no way you can come here fasting and you are not expectant. But on Sunday, many people come because it is on Sunday. I, I must go to the house of God. Majority of the people who are here are born again. Here no backslider. No one who desire to rededicate their life to Christ. You came here fasting. Hallelujah. It is very powerful when it is midweek. So, we are praying that uh, the presence of God will be evident in our three days of Ladies Empowerment Summit. Tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday. And also, we are believing God that God will prepare his servants. And even as they prepare those that will be ministering, more grace, more anointing upon their lives. And finally, we are praying that all the people that will come, they will be very expectant to receive from tomorrow up to Sunday. All that will gather here, they will be set to receive. Just say, receive. They receive their testimonies. Because already we have prayed, there shall be renewal. There shall be strengthening. There shall be empowerment. God's people will be turned to a wonder. Have you been praying? Yes. Now we are very expectant that God will visit us. God's presence will be here and in a special way, he will move. Now, uh, please, SMS someone. There is someone who called me. I, I think he might be online because when he was talking to me, she was telling me I'm online. So, and ask me now because she never knew she is calling the number, uh, my number. So, she asked, hello, hello. Now, I'm preparing to come for the Ladies Empowerment Summit. Now, last time I discovered I'm not a member there. I was invited by, you know, our lady who went to give the Lord. So now I said, 
though she's not there to invite me, and I saw uh, yesterday you sent an SMS, and the SMS reached me. So please, I said I will come, but I discovered last time that uh, uh, you had a, a, a certain, what do you call it? A theme color. Now, what is the theme color of tomorrow and Saturday? Because I want to come. I was on phone. See, already you had just left my office. Brother Maura can tell you. Where is the tea already? I'm still on the phone. Where is the tea already? She has gone. Now, what do you do? Now, she's, now she said, now, am I talking to Bishop? Yes. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. No, 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 but... Uh, I was trying to remember which color because I had my wife talking about it. It expired. So kindly, there are people who are asking for a theme color. How are you going to communicate to them? That is to tell you the information is already out. They want to know the theme color tomorrow and the theme color on Saturday. Maybe because it's not a secret, would you mind to tell me so that I tell them here? I need to tell them. Tomorrow, purple. You remember I told you purple. So that one I passed. On Saturday, I said uh, navy blue. So uh, it was still loyal blue. I don't know what that means, but loyal blue. My sisters, come with loyal blue on Saturday. And on Friday, you are coming with, that is tomorrow, with? Papo, papo, nani ya kona papo hapa? Wanajua, nisisi ya tujui waze, and uh, we are blessed. Amen? Shall we all rise up on our feet? And then on Sunday, I know the chair lady will be telling them tomorrow and also on, uh, uh, on Saturday. Now, finally, you shall be preserved to see good days. Because I believe good days are ahead of us. Whether the devil like it or not, you shall be preserved. The Lord will keep you alive and healthy. As you go, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The face of the Lord shine over you alive. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord cover you by his blood the angels of the Lord shine over you alive no evil shall befall you you shall alive home safely the weekend ahead of us shall be a good weekend for you take one or two minutes can you command your weekend the way to behave that is Friday Saturday and Sunday Rapli kazuka pakata rapakaribuka shake polo zikapa because we will not be here tomorrow morning. We will not be here on Saturday. Rabu Shaka Pakatu. I command everything to be in order to favor me in the name of Jesus. No evil shall be for me. No evil shall be for me. My family, the members of this assembly, that is tomorrow. Fridays, uh, Saturday, and even on Sunday, I cancel all the doors of evil report. I open doors of good report. The open hand of God for supernatural provision become my portion. That of my family in the mighty name of the Lord. That of the members of this assembly in the mighty name of the Lord. This weekend, I shall operate under an open heaven. Yes, our ladies empowerment summit shall operate under an open heaven in the name of Jesus. Only good is permitted to come our way, to come the way of all the overcomers, all our partners, in the mighty name of the Lord. Our Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, our Father, we declare. And so shall it be over you alive in Jesus' mighty name. Let's lift our beautiful hands and share goodness, surely. Goodness and mercy. Signs, wonders and miracles shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. The Lord bless every one of us, all our leaders, all our workers and the members. God bless you for coming. There are rewards of kingdom service. May you receive them by fire, by force. 
Go in peace. Return with the harvest of testimonies. Tomorrow, ladies will be here. The service will start at 8.30.